All right, y'all, so we'll be talking about the Omi token in this one. I'm going to be giving you all my opinion on the token and basically why I am kind of bullish on the token. Now, I'm not where I was or anywhere near where I was. I know I'm known for my $10 Omi prediction. And to be fair, I 100% believed if they would have kept their word, if they would have kept things how it was, if, if, if it would have stuck to the plan that they laid out, and everything worked perfectly, I still believe that that was possible. Now, based on the reality of what they've been able to accomplish and the reality of how things have gone and all the ways that the fundamentals have changed, I don't think that the token gets anywhere near a prediction like that. We'll be lucky if we ever see a dollar. Um, I mean, more realistically, let's go for 10 cents, 30 cents, you know, 50. Like, let, let's try to, 50 is really good. You know, because while it's still a deflationary token, they still have to bring value to the token. And it still has to be a reason why these tokens are going to be valuable. So I can think of a few. Now, this is just coming from a perspective of people with money tend to roam together. They tend to stick in these groups. So a group that's together right now is Randy Chavez, um, Dr. Profit, uh, Crypto Rain, the, these, this little group of guys who are all pretty successful. They have this money, uh, and millionaires, some millionaires and, and yeah, others right there. Um, yeah, it's like a group of people with a lot of money that, that they tend to roam together. I think that they have a certain push. They have friends who have money also. So it's something that, at some point they can sell, push and promote to other powerful people. People who can bring in real money into this project and people who can jump behind this. And I also think with the metaverse side of things, is metaverses are gonna have their day. And there's not many high quality metaverse tokens. So if you're gonna invest into the metaverse side of things, I think the Omi token is the only project really backed by all this IP you're seeing Vivi at these um, Marvel events and stuff like that, these com these Comic-Cons and stuff like that next to Marvel. I think that the Omi token does, at the point where exchanges come, big exchanges come, at that point where big exchanges come, the Omi token has a level of legitimacy I don't think many other Metaverse tokens have which could potentially lead to some huge gains, some huge results. Obviously, the thing that makes us question stuff now is like, why aren't we on exchanges? You can even get shit coins on exchanges. Why is the Obi token not being put there? Is it something that the team's not telling us? Does these exchanges not want the Omi token for some reason? What What is it with the Omi token? And I think that that, that uncertainty and doubt is causing a lot of negative sentiment towards the Omi token. Now, I believe that at the point where we get on exchanges, a shift can happen. I think that with that, with that level of legitimacy added to the fact that Vivi has all these IPs that's associated with this token, um, Disney and this token and project is so close that adds another level of legitimacy. It's just, it's something that can be a lot more trusted than a lot of other projects. Now, this will be the first time that the token, at the point we have exchanges and at the point we have more use cases, this will be the point where the token actually have a reason to start going up because people are used to tokens moving for no reason, moving because of speculation, moving because it's on exchanges and, and certain hype can push uh, money and push funds other places and stuff like that. We don't see those type of pumps in the OMI as a OMI token holders. We don't see that because the token is essentially very impossible to get your hands on. You have to be on the right exchanges. And that even now, BitForex, with, with the drama and stuff going on surrounding BitForex, it's even harder to get your hands on the OMI token. So that, what was once already impossible is now, what, 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 what was once already difficult is now impossible. And you have things like Coinbase Wallet, but 
that's not respected either. It's like it's not like it has insane volume or anything like that. It's not counted as a real exchange. And that's what the token needs. The token needs to be seen as legitimate. And right now it's still so uncertain. But to be fair, you don't want to like the time to invest in something if you have true conviction and if you believe in it, in my opinion, the time to invest in something is when everybody else doubts it. So by that logic, now would be the time to be looking into acquiring the token if you believe that the team is going to deliver the things that they said they were going to deliver. Maybe not to the extent that they said they were going to deliver it at, but if you believe they're going to add more use cases for the token, give it more reasons to be valuable, get this token used by more projects. If, if you believe that they're going to push the OMI token and get the OMI token out there so we can see some value coming to the token, now would be the time to, to you know, scoop up as much of that as possible. Because I don't think that, I don't think that a lot is there's a lot of faith in it right now. I think that you have people who they're in deep. So when you look at a group like Dr. Prophet, Randy, and all of these guys, the argument will always be able to be made. They're so heavily invested. They need a narrative where this token becomes more powerful. But I also think because a group of people like that is actually deep in this project, I don't see them going and not doing, like if you can invest all this money into the project, you telling me you can't invest or, or slide somebody some money to help promote this token or, or boost this token or do something to try to get some returns out of this token. I think even if VV does not deliver when it comes down to the token, I think that it's enough powerful people holding the OMI token to where they would, if, if push comes to shove, they would do something about the token being this low and hire somebody to market it or something like that. Like, that's just what I think. I think it's too much money in this token for it to not go somewhere and for something not to happen when it comes down to the token. I'm also still a believer in Vivi. I'm a, I'm a believer in Ecomi. So I think that they'll add more different types of utility where we can see some value come in in that way. So, yeah. At the end of the day, I believe that this token is still valuable. I believe that it has some running up that it can do and probably will do. I think with this bull run, if we get put on some exchanges, I think that we can expect some serious gains. And I do think that we have a lot. We have some pretty big moves to make to even get back to one cent. So it's a lot of money and a lot of profit to be had here. If, you know, if it turns out that, we're trusting the right team. So if Ecomi does what they said they would do and promised that they would do and things like that, if we can actually trust them and they, they deliver. And like I said, I will say this, Disney trusts them, Marvel trusts them, and a lot of the biggest brands in the world trust them. But it's easier to trust a company with IP than it may be to trust them with their own token because they can do whatever they want with that token. With the IP, the companies are more so the ones in control. But the companies also feel like this is a team that they can trust. So if these comp if this team is good enough for the companies to trust, maybe we should trust them too. So, but that's why I'm not over leveraged. I'm not in too deep or anything like that. I'm perfectly fine. Just, I have a I have enough invested where if it goes up, I can I can make a nice little bag. But if it doesn't, I don't have to care too much either. So it just comes down to the positions that you want to put yourself in. Um, I, I'm, I'm not over leveraged, so I'm, I'm good. I, I'm good to see whatever happens e either way it goes. I'm okay. Um, and I love being in that position. Let me know what position you're in. If you need it to go, if you, if you really believe in it, you have conviction. Like how do, how do you genuinely feel? Do you genuinely feel like you believe in the token because you believe in the token or do you have to at this point for some reason? Let me know your thoughts. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, though. That's pretty much it. Just wanted to share with you all my opinion. I do think that we can see something. I think we're so far down, it's only that one direction to go at this point, almost. We're almost to that point where it's only one direction to go. And all they got to do is throw us on a few exchanges, and we're going to see sentiment and things change a lot very, very fast. So, yeah. Let me know what you all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.